everybody. Welcome to phonics. Are you ready? Show me that you're ready. We're going to start with some digraphs. See if you can tell me what sounds they make. Now, do you remember Tigger? This is Tigger. Say hi. Now, Tigger can be a little bit cheeky because he likes a joke. <laughs> he's doing a big nod because he does. And he's put red squares over all of our digraphs. What do you say, Tigger? Oh, he said, sorry, Mrs. Boffin. So, Tigger, we better take these red squares off. And then as we do, the children are going to tell us what the sounds are. Are you ready? Right, Tigger, can you do it? Take one of them off as you did it. Good boy, Tigger. Right, tell Tigger, what's that one? Well done if you're saying, ch, ch. Right, take another square off, Tigger. Thank you. What's that one, everybody? Mm, like you're lifting up a heavy weight. Mm, good. Oh, Tigger's impressed. Right, do another one. What's that one? Shh. Don't wake the baby. Shh. Good job. Right, I'm just going to take away the last square. <gasps> What's that one? And again, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Super. Right, Tigger, do you want to stay with us for a minute? He does like helping us with our learning. Okay, right. So, Tigger, let's have a look. So, we've got some pictures here, and they've all got a digraph in them. Can you spot which digraph they've got in them? You might want to pause the video and think about it. So, we've got string, three, chimney and shell. Can you spot what digraph they've all got? Mm, Tigger's having a think. Do you know, Tigger? Oh, you think you do? Okay, so string. What do you think? String. Ch Is he right? No, it doesn't have a ch string. Did you spot it? Is that mm, at the end to get mm, okay? This one here. Mm. What about three? No, Tigger, do you know? Oh, he thinks he does. Let's see if he's right this time. What do you think? Is he right? Three. Yay! Well done, Tigger. Good one. Right now, chimney. Which digraph is in chimney? You know, Tigger? Okay. He thinks this one. Shh. Is shh in chimney? No, Tigger. Doesn't matter because we're learning, aren't we? It's okay. It's this one. Shh, the chimney. He said, thank you for helping. Right. And the last one, shell. Oh, always excited about this one. Shh. Well done, Tigger. Good learning. Shall. How did you get on? Okay, so today we're going to have a go at reading some words with those digraphs in them. Okay, if you know how to sound out and blend in your head, then do that. Okay, and then you would just say the word out loud. But if you're not quite there yet, that's fine. Then you need to sound, talk, and blend. Okay, so let's get rid of the square. Let's have a go at the first one. Can you see the first one? Have a go at reading it. What is it? Should we do it together? M I -ng. Ring. Well done if you got ring. Okay, have a look at the next one. What is it? Let's do it together. S -i -ng. Sing. Sing. Did you get it right? No worries if not, we'll just keep doing some more blending. Right, the next one. Again, if you can do it in your head, if you need sound, talk and blend in your head and just say the word. Did you get this one? Right, the sound, talk it aloud. Thin. Thin. It's a thin person. Thin. Last one, have a go at reading it. Do it together then. M -o -f. 
moth, moth, lovely reading. Okay, the next words, they have got some sound buttons to help us. So remember, if it's a digraph, two letters making the one sound, then it's underlined. But if it's just one letter making the sound, then it's a dot, okay? So use the sound buttons to help you read the words. Pause the video to have more time. Right, we're gonna just check how you got on with your blending. Let's look at the first one. Sh, I, p, ship. Well done if you got ship. Next one. Do it with me. Sh, I, n, shin. And this is your shin bone, isn't it? Well done. The next one. What's that digraph? Ch, o, p, chop. Okay, chop. And the last one. Ch, a, t, chat. We're having a little chat. Really lovely reading, everybody. Well done. Okay, your turn again. You're going to have a go at writing these words. They've all got digraphs in them. Okay, so we'll have a look at what they are. And then you are going to have a go at writing them. If you don't remember what the letter signs look like, then that's okay. Remember, you've got your charts at home and you can find the right letter and copy it from that one. Okay, so the first one is chick. Chick. Sound talk it and then write it. Then we've got brush. Fish. And the last one we're going to go for rang, as in somebody rang the bell. Okay, they have already done it. They have rang the bell, rang. Okay, so pause the video in a second. You need to make sure you um, sound talk the words, okay, to help you write them and then write the words down. Have a go. Okay, right, and so I'm going to compare it with mine to see how you got on. Hopefully you can see that okay. Let's just move it down a little bit. Is that clearer? Oh, let's move. My angle's right, shall we? Let's try that. Okay, can you see? So, we have got the first one. Ch -i -k chick. How did you get on with that one? You might have found the k at the end tricky because you might have just written a C or a K but often when it's at the end of the word then the K sound is made with both. Chick. If you need to make any changes to your word you can pause the video and do so. Right let's look at the next one. Brush. B -r -a -sh. Brush. Brush. Well done everybody. If you manage to spell that one right. If not, then just pause the video and make those changes that you need to make sure you've got the sh at the end. Right, and then we've got fish, fish, I, sh, fish. Again, if you need to make any changes, pause the video. And the last one, rang, r, a, n, rang, rang the bell. Rang. Brilliant. How did you get on? Is that one okay? Super. Right, let's move on. Okay, so really lovely phonics today. I'm just going to set you a challenge to finish. Could you have a go at writing your own sentence? Now you can choose whatever sentence you want. As long as it's got a word that's got either a sh sound in it or a ch or a or a mm. Okay, one of those digraphs. Um, if you're not sure what to write, then I've got an idea here for you. I've got a picture. And if you can, it'd be nice to use the tricky word we. So any ideas what I could write about this picture using the word we? Okay, now my idea was we can see fish. We 
can see fish. We can see fish. Four words in our sentence. So if you don't know what sentence to write, you can have a go at doing that one. So that's your challenge to have a go at writing your own sentence. Remember what at the start of our sentence? A capital letter. What in between our words? Finger spaces. What at the end? Full stop. And then don't forget to read it through. Really lovely phonics work, everybody. Well done.